12.1 says calculate the value of resistor R if the total resistance of the circuit is 4.8 ohms. So we know uh, that R total is equals to the resistance in series plus the resistance in parallel. So let's start with the resistance in series. When do we say that a resistor is in series? We say that a resistor is in series only if it gets undivided current. If it gets I total, it is in series, right? So from our circuit here, we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal, right? And the current flows from the positive to the negative. But then it cannot uh, bypass like this. It has to take the long route. So the current is going to take this path. It goes down this way, uh, this way, and then still going down. And then at this point, it splits, right? Some proportion of the current uh, will go in this direction. And another proportion of the current uh, will go down. Uh, in this direction, right? So let's just call this current uh, I Y that is here and then let's call the current that is here uh, I X I X and I X and then at some point here I X and I Y means and then we have I total again Here we also have I total So clearly there's no resistance that's gonna get I total. So for this circuit of ours uh, the resistance in total uh, will be equals to zero plus the resistance in parallel uh, so we're gonna have rt uh, being equals to rp so now we can look for uh, the resistance in parallel and calculate uh, that resistance as a consequence right so let me just erase some of this stuff i've put in here and let's see how we can you know solve this problem so we have already established that at this point uh, the current splits right and then a proportion comes to this side so this resistor here is getting a current ix and then uh, going down we have a proportion of uh, the current right uh, going in this direction so these three resistors uh, they get the same current iy right because after this split here the current is not splitting anywhere else so the 3r resistor and the 2r resistor and the r resistor will get the same current so these three here are getting the same current so these three resistors are in series but not say in series relative to the circuit but relative to each other so the resistance in this line here uh, will be uh, resistance equals to 3r plus 2r plus r right and then the resistance on the line on the top will just be r equals to 4r so this resistance here is in parallel with this resistance here and that's the resistance uh, we have to calculate so if we do that we're gonna get uh, rt equals to r1 multiplied by r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so what is rt rt is 4.8 and then r1 uh, is this resistance here right which is 4r and then we multiply it by uh, 3r plus 2r plus r that will be 6r right so we have 6r divided by 4r plus 6r so that will just be 10r so now we have 4.8 uh, being equals to uh, 24 uh, 24 R divided by 24 squared divided by 10 R so R and R cancel out so we are only left with one area so we're gonna have uh, 4.8 equals to 24 R uh, divided by 10 so if you solve this you get R uh, equals to 10 multiplied by 4.8 divided by 24 and then if you punch that in your calculator you're gonna get r being equals to 2 ohms and you have essentially solved your problem and then now for 12.2 it says uh, calculate the reading on the voltmeter if the current through the 4r resistor is 1.8 ohm 
so fine let me just erase this so that we can have uh, some clarity so to say so we know that the current year uh, i is equals to uh, 1.8 uh, amps right and then uh, we're supposed to calculate the reading on this voltmeter here so what do we know about uh, resistors in parallel we know that there is for the resistors in parallel uh, the voltage is the same right so if we calculate uh, the voltage of this line it will be equal to the voltage uh, in this line too right so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna have uh v uh on the 4r resistor is equals to i multiplied by uh the resistance of 4r so that will be equals to 1.8 uh multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 because uh this resistor is 4r right and we know fully well that r is equals to 2 so if you say 1.8 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 uh, that will give you 14.4 uh, volts so we know that uh, the voltage uh, on the line at the top uh, this line here is 14.4 uh, volts right but because it's parallel to this line then the voltage on this line will also be 14.4 because we know that for resistors in parallel the voltage is the same but the current is different so okay fine we have um the voltage of the line on the bottom right which is 14.4 volts and then uh, we don't have the current right but we have the resistance because the resistance is 6r and r is equals to 2 so the resistance is essentially uh 12 ohms right so from this we can then calculate the current on this line if we calculate the current on this line then it will be easy to determine the reading of the voltmeter so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna have v equals to i multiplied by r so 14.4 equals to i multiplied by 12 so we have i being equals to 14.4 uh, divided by 12 so let me just 14.4 divided by 12 uh, that is equals to 1.2 uh, ohms right so 3r 2r and r are in series to each other so their current is the same right so the current being experienced by this 2r resistor is also 1.2 ohms so we can see uh, the reading on the voltmeter right uh, will be equal to i um, i multiplied by r what is i i is 1.2 and then what is r is 2 multiplied by 2 so 1.2 multiplied by um multiplied by 2 multiplied by another 2 uh, that is 4.8 volts so the uh the reading on voltmeter on the voltmeter will be 4.8 volts uh, now let's move ahead and do uh 12.3 12.3 says concrete the energy converted uh in resistor 4r in two minutes uh we know here that the energy the formula of the energy is given by uh w is equals to uh the power multiply by the change in time but the power can be equals to two things right uh, the power will be equals to v squared divided by r or i squared uh, multiplied by r so let's uh, go ahead and look at uh, the information we have for the 4r resistor so that we can decide which formula to use so if we go to 4r then uh, you will realize that we know the current uh, it is said to be 1.8 uh, amps, right? So we're gonna use uh, this formula of P. And then it says in two minutes. So we know fully well in physics we deal with seconds. So we're gonna convert uh, that two minutes to seconds essentially. So now we're gonna have W uh, being equal to I squared uh, multiplied by R multiplied by the change in time. So what is I? I we said is 1.8 uh, we square it and then we multiply by 4 multiply by 2 because the value of R is 2 and then multiply by uh, the two minutes and then 
we multiply the two minutes by 60 to convert to seconds right and if you punch that in your calculator uh, you're gonna get uh, the work uh, being equals to one one oh three six point eight uh joules and then you are essentially done and then for 12.4 we are told that um the 4 r resistor is re replaced with an ammeter right so here we no longer have a uh, 4 r but we have uh, some ammeter a uh, here you have to know something you have to know something you have to know that the ammeter has a negligible resistance so if you connect it in parallel it's gonna short circuit your circuit right and then the question asks us how will the reading on the voltmeter be influenced right only increase decrease or stay the same so let me show you what i mean when i say it will short circuit the circuit so we have the current from the positive terminal obviously flowing and then there goes our current there goes our current at this point if you replace the 4R resistor with an ammeter, the current will not go down. It will take the path with the least resistance. So it's going to go down in this way, go down in this way, and then go up. So all these resistors, uh, the 3R resistor, uh, the 2R resistor, and then the R resistor, they will be left with no current. So basically, the reading on the voltmeter will be zero because you're going to have V equals to I multiplied by R. I now is zero. So no matter what the resistance is, will just be equals to zero volt, right? So you're coming from, uh, I think it's four point, you're coming from 4.8 volts to zero volts. So obviously that's a decrease. That's a decrease. And then 12.5 uh, ask you to explain your answer in 12.4. And that's what I just explained. An ammeter has a negligible resistance. So if you connect it in parallel, it's going to short circuit your circuit, right? So the other resistors won't get any current. Uh, consequently, the 2R resistor is not getting any current. 